After the governing equations, let's take a look at the boundary conditions. That's the domain for the problem, as we saw. So the governing equations need to be solved in this domain, and we need to provide boundary conditions at the edges of the domain. This is the boundary where we have the flow coming in with uniform velocity. So the axial component of the velocity will set to one meter per second and the radial component to be zero. This is where the flow is leaving the domain that, at that boundary and we set the pressure to be one atmosphere. This is the wall and at the wall the, the flow sticks to the wall this is, you know, when viscosity is, is present, that's, um, that's called the no-slip condition. So we'll set both components of the velocity to be zero at the wall. And at the axis of symmetry, we set the radial derivatives to be of velocity and pressure to be zero because there can be no variation of, uh, of velocity and pressure in this direction, in the radial direction at the axis of symmetry. And also, the velocity at the axial symmetry has to be in the axial direction. So we set the radial component of the velocity to be zero. So those are the boundary conditions. And now that we know the governing equations and boundary conditions that we need to solve, let's take a look at how um, the tool, ANSYS Fluent, will solve it for us um, using a numerical solution procedure.